I'm okay with that. And welcome to Nathan's Beer Time, a Thanksgiving special, 2022, a special year. And today is the inaugural day of legal betting in Maryland. Uh, we have some happy folks in the room who bet the Arkansas Razorbacks. Woo! Today, the beverage is the Brooklyn Bel Air Sour. It's a tropical sour. It is tangy and unexpectedly quirky. So, let's give it a try. Okay, let's give it a pour in the glass. Cornerstone, this is a bar over by Maryland College Park. Oh, damn, that was a good pour. And as many sours do, it's a little bit of a darker golden color. But this almost gives off like a color of a hazy IPA. It's a very dark gold. This is a little bit on the heavier side for a sour. It's definitely a mix of a beer and a sour, I'd say. And as I feel like a lot of Brooklyn beers are on the stronger side. The tropical notes are tame. It's not an overwhelming amount of tropical notes. It's more of a background. Nope, it's, and, it, and you get a beer feel to it. Go, Tarts! Calcium. Calcium. Now let's have an intermission here. This video is brought to you by Who Gives a Crap? Emergency Roll. I would like to thank June for donating this to me. I forgot to bring it home with me last time. I was supposed to bring it home with me last time, but I forgot. But thank you, June, for the emergency roll. I need to put it in my trunk. All right, so let's get back to the beer. I'm trying this one because I love sours, so you can't, you, it's hard to pass on a good sour. Ow! I like this sour. <laughs> You almost get like a lager feel. I don't, I don't know if I love it because you almost get like a, a little bit of like a lager feel in the background of it. And it's not tropically enough for me. But if, if you don't like overwhelming sours, this is like very tame. I mean, you definitely feel the, the sour and the aftertaste, but it's not overwhelming. And this is the old Baltimore Colts fight song here. So the funny thing is uh, Brooklyn is a New York beer, but uh, it's called Bel Air Sour which is actually a famous town up in Northern Maryland. So uh, thank you for whoever picked these up. It was, this was donated to me by one of the members of this party. But uh, welcome to Nathan's beer time here is summer 2020. <laughs> I would give this beer a 7.2. Uh, it's nothing spectacular. Room. 
but beer. as a sour lover, I'll still take it. Oh, and then did I just get ice with a Budweiser? Bud oh. Diesel. Bud oh Diesel. man, Bud Diesel. Diesel. We've already done the milk review earlier tonight. Review this night. Your, review your Nine own. and a half percent sour yeah. Live react. Welcome back to Nathan's Beer Time. Oh, this was actually donated to me by Garrett's ex. Uh, uh, this was a non-alcoholic beverage. <laughs> it was actually tasty. It was one of my favorite things I've ever so drank on camera. So excited for this oh, and healthy. Brown rice, Korean grill, beer in Baltimore, Yeah, that was a good memory. I need a beer. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm actually a vegetarian, so I really appreciate non dairy products. I'm checking the bucket. Most of the time, Try to be vegan as well. Sometimes I enjoy some cheese. Fuck that vegan shit. For the most part, I enjoy vegan. So I really appreciate products like this. Oh, yeah. And welcome to Sean's Beer Time. Brought to you by O'Reilly on the Hearts. Sean, what are you reviewing today? Fucking Butt Diesel. Butt Diesel. Hey, Yeah, Sean, that shit. Hey, he gets the down in it. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one! Oh! And thank you for watching Nathan's Beer Time. Till next Thanksgiving. Damn, Goodbye. You need to even burp, Nate.